Welcome to Module 3, Lesson 20. Today we'll be learning how to use place value strategies and the associative property to multiply by 10. We'll know that we're successful when we can model place value strategies using the associative property. What do the parentheses mean in this equation? The parentheses tell us how to group the numbers. The 40 in the first expression is broken down into factors of 10 times 4. When I multiply 10 times 4, I get 40. Which expression makes it easier for you to solve for 40 times 2? Would it be easier to multiply 10 times 4 and then multiply that product by 2? Or would it be easier to multiply 4 times 2 and multiply that product times 10? Which expression makes it easier for you to solve for 20 times 3? Would it be easier to multiply 10 times 2 and multiply that product times 3? Or would it be easier to multiply 2 times 3 and then multiply that product times 10? There's no correct answer. Whichever is easiest for you is the way that you would break it apart. Which expression makes it easier for you to solve for 30, 30 times 3? Would it be easier to multiply 10 times 3 and multiply that times 3? Or would it be easier to multiply 3 times 3 and multiply that product times 10. Let's see what that would look like. So for the first one, we would say 10 times 3 equals 30. 30 times 3 would require me to multiply 30 times 3, or I could do a repeated addition. In the second expression, I could say 3 times 3 equals 9 and multiply that times 10. That's easy. 9 times 10 equals 90. For me personally, I feel like the second expression would be easier. But again, whatever is easiest for you. Use the chart to write an equation in standard form and unit form. Answer. There are three rows of six ones and three times six ones equals 18 ones. In standard form, we would say three times six equals 18. Use the chart to multiply 18 ones by 10. We could say that there are 3 times 6 ones times 10. So we would move this entire block 
of 3 times 6 over to the tens place. We know that 3 times 6 equals 18, and when we multiply anything by 10, we add a 0. So 18 ones times 10 equals 18 tens, or 180. Okay, now it's time for you to put what you've learned to work in a read, draw, write question. We'll read the question together, then you will pause the video, draw a picture to help you solve the problem, and then write the answer as a sentence or sentences. The question says, Marcus solves 20 times 3 by thinking about 10 times 6. Explain his strategy. Okay, I want you to draw a math model, probably an array, to help you solve the problem. When you're satisfied with your answer, look in the description box below and check your answer against the correct answer. Do your very best work, and I'll see you in the next lesson.